I guess this would be parts two. She had some kind of glitch with her tablet. What I wanted Sorry. To sh- <laughs> what I wanted to show was this extension right here. That's a wobble joint extension. It let that wobble around. There was a guy on YouTube the other day trying to take the disc apart and couldn't get a socket on it. Was having to do it with the end wrench a quarter of a turn at a time. If he had one of these extensions, he could just put a ratchet on there or impact wrench or anything. But we got a couple bolts started, and I'm going to start them in a little ways loosely. That wobble joint extension makes that easy. Go to the other side and put three more in over here. I got this one a little better. But I wouldn't be able to get this on here without this wobble joint extension because my dipstick's in the way. You see how that works? That worked fine. Yes, it did. Grab me on the other side. Now, snow visa. Okay, what my plan is, being that I got this in there, got the flywheel on there. I can put a starter on it. I've got all kinds of H&M starters. I'm going to get this engine running. Well, I have to do a few things. Before. I can get it running the way it sits now, but there's some things I'm going to have to change on it before I can run it in the tractor. And one of them is this governor. That power unit governor, I don't know if you can see that in there. It's just got a it's got a rod go straight up. Straight, straight up, straight back. The tractor throttle goes up and down. Got that big long curve one. Well, I could change that rod, but you got to take the governor off to get it out anyway. I'll just change and put the tractor governor back on it. And I got to change that oil pan. I'll leave it on that right there and cut that block under it. ain't going to fall on me and kill me and take that pan on and off. And this carburetor is an H carburetor. It ain't for a power unit. See how somebody's notched it out where it fit? This manifold is made for a bigger carburetor like would be on a 300 or a 350 or an M or something. They have the bigger base on it. Uh, so or a super H even's got the bigger carburetor. So uh, I'm still I'm gonna still try and use this carburetor. I don't know whether it's any good or not. We'll find out. But ain't I'll have to take it apart and blow it out. Maybe put a kid in or blow it in. Hard to say. And around this side, I might put that oil filter on there. I gotta get that little dial out of there and put that 
90 degree footing in right down there that runs up here. Anyway, there's an oil line that goes up your oil pressure gauge. And I'll have to put that fitting in for that. And this here gauge that somebody's had on there, that's got electrical connection. The oil pressure goes down, it grounds out, and that would short out your magnet and kill it. Anyway, I guess that's it for the moment. i got to put that breather tube back on there, too. But that's it for the moment. We'll say goodbye and good luck to you. I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Y'all done? <laughs> you didn't do your... Uh...